This next story is for cancer victims and survivors and all who love them. Fox Chase Cancer Center hosted a special guest today who brought smiles to the faces of dozens of patients. Lisa thomas Laurie is here with that story tonight. And that special guest uh, was Charlie Luffman, Jim, singer, songwriter, and cancer survivor who has taken his musical hope campaign around the world. Today he brought it to the Fox Chase Cancer Center. One day you are in control. This year, Charlie Lustman has taken his message of hope and survival to cancer centers in Barcelona, Copenhagen, and 28 U.S. cities. It's his first visit to Philadelphia. It's funny what a lot of pain can give. A whole new meaning to the life we live. In 2005, Charlie was diagnosed with a rare cancer, osteosarcoma of the upper jawbone. It's such a rare cancer. 1% of adult cancers are sarcomas. There wasn't much of a prognosis other than we're going to saw off your jaw. Three quarters of Charlie's upper jaw was removed. And we're going to give you chemo for a year just in case it spread. He received a prosthetic jaw but had to learn to eat, talk, and sing again with it. Till they called us back to say they see those cells inside were cancer free. Charlie made it his mission to educate and inspire others. To be alive, to be singing, which I also sing with a group in my church. And it's, it's great. He wrote a pop opera about his experience and decided I'm going to give it a Hollywood ending which means I survive and go out there and do something really special. And so he has, reminding cancer patients everywhere. It's mind, body, and spirit. So the mind and the spirit, two-thirds of the formula of life, is really up to you. Oh, baby, can't you see I'm not to blame? It's chemo brain. It made me feel so good. Because after everything I've been through, I see this planet from a different view. And I'm riding, I'm delighting. Wish you could have heard more of him. Charlie will be taking his musical campaign of hope to Nairobi for World Cancer Day in February. And the good feelings and love he spread today was palpable, Jim. Just a great guy. Thank you.